Anchorman, good, not great. It's more like uh, Phase 1 in the Marvel Universe. What? Just because you didn't think a film was great, didn't mean we shouldn't. I mean, it's epic enough with the underseas and kings and Atlanteans and different worlds and whatnot. What, what, uh, what more are you looking for in a film? I mean, look at the other movies like Black Panther or something like that. That, to me, is ordinary. Good, not great. You know, what? why do they get all that attention? i tell you why. Because they hyped it up to be some sort of weird movement for the black people that it should never have been. In my, in my opinion. That's the only reason why people sort of say, Oh, that film was so... Uh, done it for the blacks. Listen, there's been a lot of black movies and black hero movies long before Black Panther. Right, so it shouldn't be too damn different. And the fact that you're putting Aquaman um, and, you're, and you're saying that it's phase one, like with Captain America and Iron Man films that really sent me to sleep, and that was some sort of phase. So you're saying that Aquaman, because it's DC, they, that should be you know, treated any different from the, the original movies on the Marvel side, that that should, has a, I've got a higher bar to reach than the movies? Or are you just saying that DC movies really need a big explosive movie to compensate for what other people didn't like that came before? No, they don't. They don't. DC's got a future and they'll, yeah, you may say they'll struggle uh, in the movies, but for me, I prefer that struggle. At least it's not, uh, at least most of the movies do not feel like it was done by the same guy. That we don't have the same ingredients of humour and jokes and colour palettes and stuff like that. That we have different directors that will give each film its own ingredients, its own feel. So, I just don't know where the critics come up. For me, I want to to say, we all know that when we go and see a movie and the critics go and say, this film is fantastic, this film is great, this film is... And then we go and see it, and it isn't all that. People went to see Black Panther movie. After hearing all the reviews, and it's fantastic and brilliant. Same as Deadpool, which I've seen, and I thought it was alright. It wasn't this big, massive, weird, I just don't, I don't get it. Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Deadpool 2. Didn't hear much buzz about that because it's been done. It was something weird and new at first. You know, but for some reason, these films are getting treated differently and not being given some sort of line and order, f uh, you know, for it to rise above, you know. The, right now, Marvel can just dish out any movie, keeping it the same tone and same everything. And you see... And they see people rushing out and saying, Ah, well, that Marvel 2 movie seems like um, the Marvel films they used to do a couple of years back. They're still making it the same way. Nothing has changed. You can call it, uh, it's, oh, it's a Marvel movie like from Phase 1. Seriously? Have you watched any recent Marvel movies? They all feel the same way. They might as well have been done five years ago. So, that aside, just go out and enjoy these movies. Enjoy Aquaman. You know, because it is going to be epic. Riding sharks, riding a seahorse. What? You know, it's going to be something new. You know, so just enjoy it. And don't listen to the bull crap that's coming out from these guys' mouths. Just because they believe that DC needs to make 
big masterpieces in order to compensate of what's went nonsense. Another news it may seem that Ben Affleck is definitely suffering. And he's going into rehab, he's trying to get himself better. And that's and I will miss him as Batman. He is my Batman, definitely. Okay? I was I was right for him as a fan as soon as he was announced. But thanks to haters out there that sort of made his life miserable. Protesting against him. You know, and uh, he was not given a chance to shine. And then of course going through different directors and different images of that character. A character that him and Zack had created and and saw a good potential to follow down that route. Then Justice League came along and then it, and it changed that whole character's uh, persona. So I would, t I would hate the fact that he's stepping down just when we're getting a so-called good director in to make this trilogy of a movie. But at the same time, the guy is breaking apart. He's been struggling with his own life and struggling with whatever media has been posting shit about. He's been struggling with the movies of the character that he loves since he was a kid and he's not getting to play it the way Zack and him loved to have went down that route to play it that certain way. He's not getting that. So why should he stay on? You know, when we were already discussing should he leave and whatnot, we shouldn't even be it's just sad. And whatever the outcome, Ben, you're my Batman and and uh, on behalf of those haters and clickbakes and bullies out there that called you stuff or gave you a hard time because you were cast, on on behalf of them, uh, or no, on behalf of you, I say screw them, screw the people, screw the bullies, you know, and uh, and I hope you get yourself better. I uh, hope you rise above all the shit that's happening with you in the last few years. Uh, and uh, here's to Christmas, folks. Here's to the epic Aquaman. Thank you.